Being a physician is such a great privilege. You know, our job is to um, do the best assessment we can possibly do and find those areas that we can work with them to uh, make them better, uh, but really to give them hope. Hopefulness is the foundation of resilience. Providing people hope is, is probably among the, the primary task of any physician. I was just not very pleased with the way psychiatrists did psychiatry. And then I finally met Dr. Amen, who's a pioneer. What we do is uh, really quite different. It's, it's not psychiatry. It's, uh, I, I would say it's clinical neuroscience. We do SPECT brain imaging. We do a comprehensive uh, assessment. It's a biological, psychological, social, spiritual assessment. And this just gives us a treasure trove of information about your brain and how it's functioning and how it's not functioning. And it, it allows us to uh, really uh, formulate uh, uh, an individualized, holistic, integrative treatment plan for you uh, that's just unbeatable. One of my best cases uh, involved a 77-year-old gentleman who uh, was beginning to have headaches and um, uh, then he began to have brain fog or, or this kind of spaciness and then he began to develop memory problems. Well, he was in his early 70s, so he went to see his physician who said, well, you're developing a little dementia. Uh, so I don't think he liked that answer. He came to us. Um, we did uh, two spec scans. We did a, a concentration scan and a baseline scan. His images uh, really didn't reveal a, a dementia pattern. He was a man who had played uh, a lot of football growing up as a youngster. And then throughout his life, he'd been in a series of uh, car accidents. So this uh, uh, made us suspicious that he may have developed uh, craniocervical syndrome. The misalignment of the base of your skull with the first and second cervical vertebra, and it often uh, interferes with the flow of the cerebral spinal fluid, uh, which is a major way the brain detoxifies itself. So when we assess the flow of his cerebral spinal fluid, sure enough, we saw that he had this problem. We sent him to uh, an orthogonal specialist who corrected the problem. And within about six months, uh, he had regained uh, all of his function. If we hadn't have thought of this um, uh, and looked into it, he surely would have gone on to develop dementia. When the, that flow is not right, um, it uh, allows for the toxic proteins to, to build up in the brain, and, and this ultimately leads to dementia. So this was, I think, a good day.